Okay, I'm gonna show you how to thread your cranes. Um, so each of you in your packet got um, some string. We want to try to fit anywhere from about 9 to 12 cranes on a string. Um, so what you do is you're going to have to pick up a needle and you want the head of the needle um, to be big enough for the string to fit through. What you do is after you're done folding your cranes, you'll take your needle, you'll thread your needle, and then you'll take your first crane um, and you're going to look at the bottom and when you look at the bottom there's a hole um, down there. So you're going to stick the needle through that hole and then it should come up through uh, the point of the crane. You just push the needle through just like that. Pull it through and you're going to pull it through until um, the end of the thread uh, is at the bottom of the crane. You don't want to pull all the way through because then of course you're going to have to thread it again. Once you do that, then you're going to poke a hole in the top of the crane, probably about a quarter of the inch down. Don't do it too close to the edge because then it'll rip, um, but you don't want to do it too far down because then it'll just look silly. So I usually do about halfway from the point to the top of the wing. Um, and just stick that needle in, make it go all the way through, and then you're going to pull that, um, pull the string through, and then before it gets all the way, um, before it closes all the way, you want to take and uh, put your needle back through that loop, and then you'll pull it tight just like that. So then, you'll take your next crane, you'll do the same thing. Just the bottom, look for the hole, stick it through, come up through the top, pull it through. And you wanna to try to space your cranes somewhat evenly. And a trick that I use is if you're holding the crane like this and you put the wings down, and you just keep the same distance in between the tip of the wings and the top of the next crane, um, you should be good. Now the way that I've cut the string, um, you should be able to fit, um, you know, 9 to 12 on a string if you space them about like that. Again, I'm sticking the needle back through, whoopsies, bring it through, again, loop it through, make sure you don't get it caught on the neck or the tail, just like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to put however many cranes um, you want to on your string. I had recommended, you know, 9 to 12. Um, and then let's just pretend that we have 10 cranes on here. You want to make sure that when you're spacing them, you leave enough string at the top of it uh, so that they can be hung on the ceiling. Um, you don't want to put it too close to the top, so that's why it's important to space them evenly. It's better to do um, it a little bit closer uh, then further away because then you'll run out of string. Um, so, and then at the crane that's at the bottom, you want to just take a pen and write a little get well note to Paula on the end of it. Then she can go through and read through those on, an, on to brighten her day. And that's it.